Well guys, I screwed up. I dropped the water, cracked the plastic. We have two of these. So we still got some water. But uh, they've been going through both of them a couple times a day. So I'm gonna, I got this chicken nipple bucket and uh, I'm gonna cut it because it's kind of tall to fit in there. This is going to be a little bit of guesswork. Go about right here. the handle off. Jump. You drill two holes in it for the handle. Part right here. Yeah, that? Yeah, that should work, huh? All right, I set it down there, and I noticed they could jump inside it really easily. But the bucket lid still fits pretty good. It's kind of pinched with the uh, wire here for the handle, so I'm gonna hang. Keep the lid on it so the chickens don't get in it. Now I gotta hang it. Get rid of that nasty thing down there. This would be a lot cleaner. I think what I'm gonna do is get rid of this uh, two by two. It's got an eyelet right here. Can't see it, but this is only to hang the brooding lamp, which I didn't tell anybody yet, but the lamp quit and we lost 30 chicks which we were splitting them anyways and the person we were splitting them with didn't pay us or nothing so we we're just keeping what's left and actually we had 50 we we're supposed to get 25 there's i think 28 in here yeah so it still kind of works out except for we paid we got a good deal we paid a dollar a piece for them so now really we paid like two bucks a piece but that's still a pretty good deal so, sucks though that uh, we lost 30 chicks. So we got this brooder, brooder place thing down here. It uh, heats up underneath and the chicks go underneath it and it's a lot safer for fires and it's probably what you should get anyways, especially if you're new at it. We already had the lamp, that's why we used it. But the only problem with this is they go to the top of it and poop all over.
I can get rid of this nasty thing. Move this over. And then uh, hopefully the bucket hangs right there. It does, and it's like perfect height for the little ones. The bigger ones, they gotta scratch down a little bit. So, I'm gonna have to probably make that handle shorter. Looks like they figured it out already. This one's a little tricky, it's so skinny. Some things are uh, Mean eating machines. They eat so much. Well, hopefully this water works out. I'm gonna just leave it the height it is right now, but I'm gonna have to come up with a way to raise it some when they get bigger. But the problem is we got different age chicks here because they had some older ones that tractor supply that weren't selling, which is good because they're bigger. But now we got quite a size difference we're dealing with and they're not going to be in here that much longer I'm going to have to build a tractor all right well have a good one see you next time